As a society, we're still very strongly dependent on fossil fuels. Each piece of that we chip away, where we can come up with alternatives that don't pollute the atmosphere, don't require us digging into the ground, are hopefully ultimately more economical, but also more healthy for the world. Professor Yang Yang and his group came up with the infrared absorbing polymer that absorbs the light that would conduct electricity, but would still let visible light through. Our work, our solar series, organic or plastic based. This solar series was actually made by the liquid coating process. And then with our transparent electrode, so it's actually uh, fairly transparent that you can probably see through that on the camera. The advantage of the liquid process is that we're able to make films large or small size. It's not just for the windows of the building, you can also apply to the vehicles. For example, one can apply to the car windshield or the roof of the car. You can generate electricity while the car is parked under the sun. If I go to an outdoor cafe, I can put my phone under the sun and charge it. One of the criteria that we used in developing the windows was that they had to be economical, they had to use earth abundant materials, and so from the start we made these so that they could be solution processed. The rooftop silicon solar cell has been commercialized for years. The problem is it's still too expensive. In America, many of us have roofs and we can put solar panels on top of our homes, but many people in the world are in much tighter spaces. Those people still have windows on their homes, and so we would hope to be able to use those windows to generate electricity as well. I can see a paradigm shift of, of the solar technology from the expensive rooftop application of panels to a low-cost, high-volume process. We hope that more and more of our energy needs are taken up by alternative energy sources like solar energy. One of the things these cells do is they might be able to free up some of the devices that we have to allow us to disconnect and be off the grid. Our technology is still in the very early stage. So hopefully with the better research, we will improve the efficiency, the stability, the lifetime. In the US, United States, we consume probably per capita the most energy in the world. If we can reduce that or instantly benefit the environment.